I'd like to give you what I like to call a short course on Romanism. And why I say short is, this is what I did my PhD work in, church history. And I probably could talk, I have talked for 60 hours on Roman Catholic theology. Read every theologian, studied all of theology to do with the church for, for five years of my life. But I'll give you a short version, okay? The Roman Catholic Church has seven sacraments. Baptism, Confirmation, Eucharist, or the Mass, Penance, Holy Orders, Marriage, and Extreme Unction. Now let me share with you how they define them. This is from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. No tricks. This is actually, you know, this is just exactly what they believe. This is what they say. The sacraments of the Catholic Church are efficacious signs of grace instituted by Christ, entrusted to the church, now here's the key, by which divine life is dispensed to us. If you know any Roman Catholic person, this is what their church believes. Now, I don't know where they are. I don't know how much of this they believe. I don't know how much they embrace. I don't even know if they even understand. But this is Romanism, Roman Catholicism. The instant a person is born, they're in the negative. They're, they're behind the line to go to heaven. So they must be baptized. And baptism gets them to the start line to go to heaven. And they go through confirmation, and they go through confessions and penance, and they go through all of the various mass celebrations they can go to. In fact, some people are really into this, and they go every day. And they go as often as they can, and every time they... they from, from baptism through uh, confirmation, through all of the times that they go through confession and penance and partake in Mass, they are making a step toward the finish line. And the finish line is becoming righteous enough to go to heaven. They weren't righteous enough at birth, but at the instant of baptism, which is so critical that you baptize a baby to get that infused grace to get them on the start line. And it's so important to keep up with that and to keep this infused or, as the Catholics call it, dispensed grace. But you know what the problem is? There's two kinds of sins. There's mortal sins and venial sins. And venial sins are little. Mortal sins are bad. A venial sin you can just tell the priest about and just do penance and go on. A mortal sin takes you all the way back to square one. You know, that's not bad if you're 20 years old and you can confess and do penance and, and go to Mass seven days a week. You know what's really bad is if you do that until you're about 79 or 80 and you do a mortal sin and you go back to zero. And you're back at the starting line. What happens to people that die this side of the entrance to heaven? Well, the saints had more than enough grace to get to heaven. And so all their excess, like Mary and Peter and Paul and John and you know all the great saints throughout the ages, Saint Augustine, Saint everyone that you've ever heard of, those people had more than enough. They went past the line. And as far past as they went, that extra grace God takes and puts into what the Catholics call the treasury of merits. And that's up in heaven. And if you're going along here and you don't quite make it and you only get to right here and you die, you go over in a waiting room called purgatory, purge. You've got to have those sins purged and you've got to get this grace. And there's only two ways you can get it. Either be there and, and a little bit God gives you and it takes several hundred years or if you're really bad, thousands of years and you go like this or your family and others can pray for you and, and God will dip out of the treasury of merits and pour onto you and, and you might get out rapidly if they do it enough. Now that, that's 60 hours, but that is honest to goodness gospel truth Catholicism. That you receive infusions that take you to get righteous enough to get into heaven. Now look at the Bible, what the Bible says. Fascinating. Because 
The Bible says what's wrong with Romanism is that God only justifies sinners. The Roman Catholic Church teaches God justifies the righteous. They are taught that you have to get enough righteousness worked up to get into heaven. And God says the only people he saves are the ones who are still on this side of the line who are sinners. Look back at 2 Corinthians 5 and it says in verse 19 that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself not imputing their trespasses and has committed to us the ministry of reconciliation. Verse 21, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us so that we might become. That might become is the huge biblical doctrine called imputation. And imputation means credited to our account completely. And the book of Hebrews says that by one sacrifice, Jesus Christ once and for all paid the entire price of sin. He doesn't biblically give it out in infusions through, through works that we do. He gives it instantaneously the moment we come to Christ. 